So this year, being at our 20th wedding anniversary, I wanted a surprise grace. So me and the guys are gonna recreate my original wedding cake. My wedding cake was a church cake. It was the first church cake that my father-in-law did. He saw this church cake somewhere, and he wanted to recreate it, but he wanted to do buddy style. So it was a big, long process, and he practiced for weeks and weeks and weeks to decide what was gonna work. So basically, at the end, we got a multi-tiered wedding cake that's square and round, and it looks like a church. It has a steeple, has columns. It's, it's pretty impressive. And this. These glue into here. No, they go, I know that, but this goes on a separator. No, this glues on the tough board. We used to make these church cakes all the time, and it's actually one of the first really big cakes that I ever worked on. I mean, we haven't done one in years, so I just hope that we still got what it takes. Joey, we could use a um, seven inch uh, masonite, glue it down, and then we could go, yeah, and then, we'll, then we'll just buttercream it. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Hi, Grace. How are you? Good. I'm sure you heard about the pool party. So excited. Nicole's trying on all her bikinis. How funny. I went to buy him a new bathing suit. I have a red one, a plaid one, an orange one. What is she wearing? I don't know. Well, this is the first year that he's going to have a co-ed birthday party. There's going to be boys and girls there, and he's very excited about it. And he's really excited because his so-called girlfriend, Nicole, is invited, which Nicole is the daughter of my very good friend, Daniela. So exciting. <laughs> We've been planning this since they're in kindergarten. We want each other as in-laws. Yeah. He says, I finally got the courage up to ask her. He was so excited. It was so the cute. cutest thing. Have they been on a date? They going steady? What's going on? They actually went to the movies together. <laughs> I says, now popcorn, a drink, whatever she wants. He's like, I know that. Just give me enough of money, he said. Hilarious, you know. Isn't that hysterical? Well, All well, right. you guys are having fun. Yes. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. See you at the party. Okay, Take care. Bye, Grace. I'll, I'll see, see you later. Are you coming to the party? I'll be there. All right. All right. See you later. Take care. Bye. I want a life size sculpture of me. You getting you getting a swimming pool? No, a we, big swimming pool. The bottom tier could be a pool, like the bottom. The second tier, I want just like things like that I like, and then the third tier is a hot tub. The third tier, like the small tier. Yes. We had a deal, me and Buddy. No girlfriend until he's twelve. I mean, uh, I know he's almost twelve, but I still don't like the idea. He's definitely too young. It doesn't have to be tears. We'll make a solution. Can I have? A swimming pool. A sheet cake. Yes. I can have the hot tub like sticking out of the top of the key, like on stands, like a couple of girls on top and stuff. You know, it's not like I'm doing a cake for Don Juan or anything. As far as the girls up on top, uh, I don't know. We'll have to make a decision about that. In all my videos, I don't want you to come to the, to the party tomorrow with the cake. Not correct. Just Are you paying for the cake? All right. So you're going to get whatever I give you. How's that? For this pool party cake? Mauro is stacking a vanilla cake with chocolate fudge. Because that's a crowd pleaser. What 12-year-old wouldn't like vanilla cake with chocolate fudge? So me and my beautiful wife, Lisa, are coming up on our 10-year wedding anniversary, and we're going to renew our vows. And you know, as part of this, I want to, you know, get her a new wedding band. So I want to get her something, like, magnificent. I want her to have a wedding band that's just like, you know, wow, when people see it, something, something you know. Something that stands out. Yeah, and you know what? It's been 10 years. I got four kids. When we first got married, things were different. Now time's a little better, and uh, I can do more. I want to do something awesome. Why don't I bring out a few things for you guys to see? OK, cool. Sounds good. Babe, I want you to get something nice. I mean. I work oh, hard. Oh, honey, I'm going to get something nice. Don't worry about that. But I think this is just a little sentimental to me. I don't know if I want to change it. I got to say, my wife, Lisa, doesn't want to change her ring out. I mean, she's a little superstitious, and she thinks it's bad luck. But you know what? She loves jewelry. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at this. Earrings. Do you oh, see wow. these? Those That's... are gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. 
I know I wanted to do a little more. I don't know if I wanted to do that much more. Why? Much. Am, am I not worth it? <laughs> you are, but okay. you want me to have a heart attack? Look at this. How many diamonds are on here? First, she's putting on Sophia's tuition. Then, she's putting on Marco's tuition. And I'm like, oh, what the hell's going on here? I don't know what I got myself into. Hey, look, this probably matches really nice with these. Look how pretty this looks. You could wear this fancy, casual, every day. This is a nice wedding gift. Dress up or dress down. Here's the deal. My wife, Lisa, she's pretty old school. I mean, we're renewing our wedding vows, and I want to get her a new ring. But she's kind of like, eh, you know, superstitious about it. I just, again, my only thing is that this has a lot of sentimental value to me. And then I come up with a great idea. Is there a way to just add diamonds to her ring? Yeah, of course. Plenty of people do that. It's a way to keep, you know, the sentimental value of your original ring and add something new. You yeah. combine both of your ideas together. Now look at that. I think that that's a brilliant idea because at the end of the day, she's got nice diamonds on there. It's They're just beautiful. I couldn't afford the whole package back then. Now I could finish up the job, and um, you still keep your old ring, so there's Sweet. no sentimental value lost. I like that And idea. When, when I see it on your finger, I'm going to be proud to say that's on your finger. I agree. Is see? that good? I like it. All but right. it doesn't mean that Christmas, birthday. Oh, you're killing me, Danielle. You're killing me. There's a whole year of Easter, vacations. 4th of July. <laughs> Right, listen, I got rooked into doing my son's birthday cake. So he's having a pool party. I'm gonna do a swimming pool, and I'm gonna do him standing by the pool. And then I wanna put people floating in the pool. Don't make the girls too hot because he gets all excited over that. <laughs> but his uh, girlfriend. Buddy has a girlfriend? Not girlfriend. Girlfriend. It's a friend that's a girl. It's gonna be there too, so I gotta make sure he looks fifth. You know what I'm saying? Good impression. Sounds uh, good. Awesome, thank you. For Buddy Castano's pool party cake, the sculptures are coming hilarious. First off, Hein has given Buddy Castano a little bit more definition in the midsection, so it won't embarrass him in front of his girlfriend. And the first thing Ralph and Juan do is start making hot chicks. Let's get a buttercream bag more. I want you to stack these up. Get all these corners on first, and then we'll do all the borders in one shot. For Joey and Grace's 20th anniversary, we're making a replica of the original church cake from their wedding. Joe and Frankie, put the leaves here first, then I'll put the steeple in place, and we'll go from there. Once we get the basic structure in place, we start going to town with some old school piping, baby. You know, doing the piping on a church cake is a lot harder than doing it on a regular round cake or a square cake because when I pipe on the turntable, my hand stays in the same thing and the cake kind of spins around. But with a church cake, it's too big to go on a turntable. And your piping has to be spot on to get it right. 20 years, you don't realize how fast 20 years goes. I grew a lot of pounds, lost a lot of hair. Oh, I remember 20 years ago, Buddy used to have a six pack. Uh, now I got a keg. Ha <laughs> ha. Come on, Joe. You, were you nervous? No. I, mean, I really don't remember. Did you know what I remember? I remember my brother being in the back of the church and my brother saying to me, you know, it's not too late. We can run. I swear to God. <laughs> then I got nervous. <laughs> uh, married all these years and I haven't done a church kick in a long time. Shoot. I don't remember the last time we did a church cake. Someone got the last one. Somebody got the last one, yeah. We used to do like once a month this thing. I remember I one weekend I had like four in one weekend. I thought I was gonna kill myself. Good times. Old school. 